Look at this. Guys, wow. Welcome to another amazing installment of Property Vlogs. I'm so excited to bring you here to King Richard's Wharf to see this house. This house is the Atkinson, which is a new build house by Owl Homes. And we're here to tour this house together. So what is the Atkinson? It's a five bedroom, three bathroom property. It's a detached property, as you can see, with its own double garage and a host of features on the inside. Yes, it looks traditional on the outside, but just you wait till you see what's on the inside. If any of that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. We'll talk together. The stats will appear on the screen. Like I said, it's five bedroom, three bathroom, and its approximate size is 2,120 square feet. And its availability and all that other interesting information about the pricing and location details are clickable via link in the description. But let's get straight into the tour. Come with me up these paved steps and I wanna talk about external tour, right? We're gonna do an external tour. So you've got this porch kind of slight overhang of the roof, which forms a bit of a, a little bit of a rain cover. You've got this kind of like Georgian leaning entrance with the columns either side, a prominent front door, and then the glazed fan lights above. And then you've got these modern glazed side lights i love that you've got windows either side and it is asymmetrical so you've got the stone sills the red brick and then this prominent gable with this kind of semicircular glazed window on the top half and then that gable detail right at the top planting at the front lawn at the front now let's get straight into the house and begin the tour i'm going to welcome you home welcome inside and tell you a bit more Okay, guys, first impressions. What are your first impressions? I'm really interested to know what you're thinking of this space right now, because what I'm thinking of is I'm loving how bright and light filled this hallway is. I'm loving the wall to wall matting. Yes. So you can go over here and there could be a footstool over here with like foot shoe storage. Kick off your shoes, pop them over there and you don't have to tr trudge in dirty shoes straight into the house. The front door is a wide, it's wide actually. <laughs> I was gonna say it's a wide width. It's, it's very long in width. Make that make sense. So the front door is very wide. You've got that light just coming through those panels all the way into this space. The ceiling height is taller than your standard 2.4. You can definitely feel that when you're in here. This is such a lovely hallway. This is how hallways should be. You've got the pendant lights, two of them. Again, lighting is usually customizable or at least adaptable in some sense. And then you've got that beautiful luxury vinyl tiling all the way across the ground floor. Now, there are a few rooms leading off here, but I'm gonna show you this room first. So this is staged as kind of like a study, you know, use your imagination type of space. Well, it could easily be a playroom, a spare bedroom, uh, a games room, or a home office like the way they've showed. You can definitely kit it out in more furniture. They've just showed a desk at the end and you can just see how much space there is still left over. But again, the idea is that it's a nice sizable room. It's benefiting from that full height and of views of the front of the property. You've got that large window there, which opens outwards. So let's come back into the hallway. But first, actually, let's use this opportunity to talk about the doors and the ironmongery. So you've got that white satin effect cottage doors with the paneling, vertical paneling. You've got the high gloss white painted architraves with a little bit of a bevel, like a V-shaped bevel, and that continues into the skirting. That's nice and easy to clean. No more intricate profiled skirtings. Yes, they look fantastic, but just remember pros and cons, pros and cons. So the next room I'm gonna show you, yes guys, I am, I am gonna work through this methodically, is your understair storage. This is your BT, your consumer unit, and it's a fantastic place to put maybe a four bike, a pram, your coats and your cloaks go nicely under there. Now the next room I want to show you is over here. This is your downstairs toilet. So you, when you come in you just turn left and right at the end you've got your front access into the toilet. You've got your sink on a, pe uh, on a vanity, a 
That's great, cupboard doors, and then you've got your toilet right at the end with the window giving you lots of light. It smells so nice in here. The window does go through, uh, go a lot at maintaining that really good air quality. And then again, the flooring's done so well. You can see the sealant all the way around. So there's not gonna be any drafts. This is a modern new build house, new spec meeting today's standards. And I love that. So the next room is over there. Come through here. Through these double doors is the first of your wow spaces. What an entrance. This is your formal lounge. This house is 2,120 square feet. The living room, I do have to elevate my voice somewhat to get across to where you are because this is spacious. Wow. So <laughs> usually two armchairs two sofas is enough to kind of fully stage a, a, a house, but not in this case. Right now, we are needing more furniture, don't we? We need at least two more armchairs because the size of the room is definitely very spacious. So you've got a large sofa on that side, another sofa on that side, and then you can definitely have a longer sofa all the way across, two coffee tables, and then a focal point. And I just want to point out, architecturally speaking, we've got a triple aspect room. So you've got a view of the kind of the rear garden, the view of the side rear garden through these double doors, and then you've got a bonus view of your kind of driveway slash access path down the side that way that's really cool that's amazing so let's go to the next space and now that we're back in the hallway now i want to show you through here the next wow space and look at this guys wow i feel like i was gonna burst into a round of applause this is incredible this is your kitchen breakfast bar dining room Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I haven't seen something this impressive in so long. I am fully impressed. This kitchen is a proper kitchen. It's a real kitchen and it's so beautifully done. It might take me a while. Guys, I hope you're comfortable. I'm going to take my time to work through this. We're going to start on this end of the kitchen. So we've got our Shaker style cabinets done in a dark green. Yep. And it's paired with a beautiful bronze or antique gold, or antique brass handle. You've got your Samsung fridge freezer integrated. You've got your integrated Samsung double oven unit there. And then you've got storage all the way below. And it's all done in this beautiful, beautiful shaker style dark green um, cabinet. So you've got the worktop which contrasts so nicely with the dark green. And then a large three pane window facing the side of the property, um, facing the front, sorry, rather. And then you've got that whole length of window still done in this beautiful uh, man-made worktop in this kind of like, it looks like natural stone almost. And then you've got the one and a half sink. The tap is a mix of tap by Frank. And then you've got the fabricated grooves. This looks like it's where the boiler lives, but it's so quiet, guys. That's a Logic System Squared S18 boiler. And then you've got tall units, a three width Samsung extractor fan and a large induction hob by Samsung again. Underneath, we've got our cutlery drawer space there, option one, large utensils. And then you've got storage, 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 and then prep space all the way around. Again, you've got more, maybe this could be your cutlery drawer. You've got the option. Do you want it over there, over here? You know, there's lots and lots of options. Storage underneath, again, just pots and pans, everything can be accommodated in this area. And then the kitchen wraps around and forms this kitchen use um, peninsula over here, which then creates your breakfast bar with these very luxurious chairs. This is a four seater breakfast bar, but if you go for these large bar stools like they've gone, you can fit three people easily. And then that spills over to here, which is our eight seater dining table. Just put two end chairs. You've got your eight seater. You've got the pendant down and that's a substantial size. I love that. So again, this is a very spacious home. The table, you can even change the orientation if you wanted to. I absolutely love that. And then at the back, we've got these bifolding doors. 
metal framed durable bifolding doors that open up all the way and stack over there. From the back, we can see the garden and open out into like our barbecue, outdoor seating space, you know, that kind of vibe. That's what we're expecting here. And then we've got from there a bonus room. So this is our like laundry area with our spaces for our appliances we've still got the great quality fittings we just don't have the appliances in them and then we have the sink behind the door which is a one and a half ball and then the mixer tap everything is still the same quality the same quality worktops the upstand everything everything is the same and then you've got a door which leads to the garden which i'm gonna go through because i want to show you the garden tour right so come with me and i'm gonna show you the garden. We're going to step down into this space and now we're in our garden. You can see the beautiful paving slabs. You can see the back of the home actually, which is L-shaped. We do have that prominent gable at the back and we've got another prominent gable at the front as well. And here we've got a feature window, which we'll show you more of soon. We've got the garage on that side and then you can see here more, a more realistic kind of version of what you're going to get with the garden you're gonna get the lawn and then the paving slabs. And guys, I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier, this is a real home, a real plot. It's kind of a semi-show home. It's not being kind of um, upgraded to the form of a show home. And that was the garden tour. So let's go back inside and now I'm gonna show you the upstairs. Okay, now we're on the landing, guys. So, Again, I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, but this is a like, it's not a fully staged show home. It's just a slightly staged <laughs> real home. So now we're on the landing. I just wanna, wanna talk about the size of the landing. It's such a good size. It's a really good size. You can see all the way down to the ground floor and there's a, such a opportunity to put an artwork or a chandelier right in the middle, really create that wow factor. We are here in the landing we've got a pendant light above us but again you can think about spotlights or wall lights kind of really give that space a glow right now so we're going to start off by going to this room so this room you can see here it's been staged as like a twin bedroom but it's definitely a spacious double bedroom kind of hinted a little bit by the sockets being either side on this wall but i think staging is meant to give you an idea of what you can do to help you think outside of the box and i'm definitely thinking outside of the box i even think two double beds could even fit in this arrangement right now it's such a large room you've got a large window face in the garden you've got a large radiator and then over here you've got your own private bathroom so over here the three-piece suite includes a sink, a toilet, and a large walk-in shower with this gorgeous tiling done in like a stone, natural stone effect. There is a window as well, bringing in lots of night light and vent ventilation, and there's a radiator in this space. So coming back into this room, it's a really nice size. There's definitely ample space for wardrobes as well. Let's come back into the hallway and then this is the family bathroom which is over here. So it's a three-piece suite. You've got your bathtub and then your sink and then your toilet over here. They've gone with a half height tiling which wraps around wet area. Sometimes there is an option to put a shower over bath if that's something you're interested in. It definitely would make that space more practical but that's a really good size bathroom. And then coming into here Speaking of good size rooms, this is a fantastic size for a bedroom. So this is, this looks like it's a, it's a double, but it's on an oversized headboard. So a king size could easily fit in here. Maybe you could even squeeze in a super king if you're really, really wanting to be very indulgent. You've got bedside tables either side, and then you've got a window facing the front of the property. And then at the foot of the bed, you've got all the space to play with. They've gone with like a little console table, but you could have a wardrobe going from here down to the end of the wall. Really, the spaces, you're definitely really feeling the space. So this is another room. So this is actually um, staged as a nursery. So again, the staging in this room is kind of like staging light. It's been done intentionally because this is a real house, a real plot. 
what you see is what you get in terms of the fixed fittings, carpeting and the paints and the walls. So yes, guys, this is a nursery. So it's a single bedroom. A single bed could easily go on that wall with a wardrobe opposite. Or you can make it a home office, a playroom or a studio. I love it. So it's got view of the front. Coming back into the hallway, another beautifully proportioned double bed with a huge headboard behind it. It could easily be a king size, if not bigger. You've got bedside tables either side and then a large window facing the front of the property again. So we're using that kind of that really long front elevation to have as much light and as many windows coming into these bedrooms as possible. Now we're gonna go back into the hallway. I'm gonna circle back and show you, well, let me quickly show you what's behind this mystery door. This is your kind of like your hot water system there. Boring stuff, guys. And that, but it is really important because that's what's making all your showers nice and warm. And now I wanna bring you into the primary suite. So again, it's been semi-staged for you to come in and add your own um, print on it. So your, your own stamp. So this is like a walk-in wardrobe. And in proportion terms, in terms of proportions, this is definitely ample ample storage they're short of adding doors again those are things that your personality you can come and add what type of doors you want in or negotiate with a developer to finish it off but again it's like a walk-in closet actually and you know what it's completely open but it's off the way so when you turn back in you come into this space which is your primary suite and it has a vaulted ceiling so when you come into this part of the house when we're in that striking gable element you've got that almost double height space and i love what they've done with the lighting fixture above this space and what a great kind of feature to wake up to in the mornings i love the way the blinds have been integrated into this property so it gives you an idea of what you can do and then you've got that glazed triangle at the top bringing in so much light it's like a little architectural detail but this space is also a double aspect so you've got the window facing that way and then you've got openable windows to the side over there so very practical and look at all this space if it was up to me super super king size bed there bedside bedside table there and a little bench at the foot of the bed little coffee area so you can just have your coffee in the morning while looking out into your garden it's a really fantastic space and now just in case you thought that was it no primary suite is complete without its primary ensuite so this is your ensuite your own dedicated ensuite and look how big this shower is this is a proper walk-in shower with a really <laughs> so wow so yeah it's a really really nice size got the handheld device so it's great for cleaning the shower we need that handheld device no one wants to be carrying buckets from the rest of the house can clean the shower and then you love i love that tiling they've paired it with like a kind of a white trim here to make it really nice and subtle on the eye and then that sill goes all the way into the window sill and then you've got your window bringing in lots of ventilation and light and i like the little upstand they've gone with all the way around which gives the wall extra protection you've got the floating sink so it's easy to clean underneath it and the mixer tap by Briston. I love it all. You've got a radiator right by the shower so you can put your towel there, just keep it nice and warm. And the flooring is that luxury vinyl tiling that we saw downstairs. So with that being said, this tour is finished. Thank you so much for following us on this tour. It's been great having you. Did you see anything fabulous? Leave it in the comments. We always love reading your positive comments and replying to them. But most of all, subscribe so you get notified when our video comes up next week. And we'll see you in the next video, which is gonna pop up on the screen. Bye.